Hello, everyone. My name is Qian Danzhu. I come from the Gaolin School of Artificial Intelligence, Renmin University of China. Here, I will give the report of the paper titled "Again Tuning Dynamic Negative Sampler for Recommendation." In the implicit feedback-based recommendation field, selecting reliable negative training instances is the challenging task. Uniform negative sampler suffers from the gradient vanishing problem. Hard negative sampler maintains the hard negative samples with a high gradient for training, causing the false negative samples to be selected preferentially. Those issues may lead to overfitting and false poor generalization of the model. Thus, we design an expectational gain sampler to get the negative selection dynamically. The negative selection is based on the expectation of users' preference gap between the positive and negative in training stage. Our proposed model is composed of the gain-aware negative sampler and group-wise optimizer. Especially, the gain-aware negative sampler aims to guide the negative selection dynamically in training stage. Which can effectively identify the false negative samples and further diminish the risk of introducing false negative instances. For improving the training efficiency, the group-wise optimizer constructs positive and negative groups for each user in each iteration and optimizes them in a cross manner. In the gain-aware negative sample. We first devise an exposure-aware function to measure negative singles in the exposure date. The probability of the non-interacted item J in the exposure date being a real negative sample is defined as the equation one. The equation one indicates the expectation of the non-interacted item J with the interacted item set delta U. The higher G value, the more likely it is to be a false negative sample. Moreover, compared with the expectation of the score difference between the positive and negative samples in equation one, the expectational gain between two iterations is a more sensible single to monitor the difference between the negative sample and the positive item set. Correspondingly. We develop a gain-aware function to calculate the probability of item J being a real negative sample as equation two. Here, alpha is a small thing hyperparameter to make the training stable. According to the gain tuning sample, the unobserved intersections of a given user with higher G are selected as the negative samples for models optimization. This is because that the false negative samples usually have the larger than the true negative samples. Different from the pairwise margin-based loss used in the existing methods, we develop a group-wise optimizer to make the optimization more efficient. The group-wise ranking loss is defined as equation four. The case step is to construct the positive and the negative group training samples for each user in one epoch. The positive group delta u are constructed by sampling n times independently from users' observed interactions. The negative group is constructed by selecting more reliable negative samples with top n higher g from users' unobserved interactions. Then the arbitrary two positive and negative sample form a pair and further constructs a training group for the user. To make a fair comparison, we use a matching function as equation three used in GMF to calculate the matching score of the given pair of the user U and item I. Before the gradient update, we update the G values for. Negative selection of the next iteration. So, why the group-wise optimizer works? Essentially, different from the isolated gradient information in the pairwise approach, 
The group wise optimizer shares the gradient information among all samples in the same group. For example, in the right subfigure, the item I1 can acquire necessary gradient information by the cross operation in the same group for improving the embedding in our model. On the contrary, the item I1 in the left subfigure can only obtain the gradient information from the pair U1 I1 and U1 G1. Moreover, our group wise optimizer can reduce the consumption of feature encoding, that's the calculation of the matching scores. If there are n training samples, the pairwise approach needs 2n times, while our groupwise optimizer needs 2k multiplied by the number of users. Here, k is the groupwise. We usually set k as 32. We evaluate our model onto popular real-world datasets in recommendation field, like the movie lens 1, M, and Pinterest. The experimental results indicate that our model consistently outperforms all baselines on two datasets with all metrics. This indicates that our model can sample high-quality negative instances and thus help to learn a better recommendation model that ranks items more accurately. Besides the effectiveness of our model, we also analyze and evaluate the effectiveness of different components in our model. In the left figure, the first variant is GDNS without G which uses H as the indicator to generate, generate negative samples instead of G. The second variant is GDNS without groupwise, which directly uses the pairwise margin ranking loss to make optimization. The experimental results show that our model achieves better performance than those variants. It suggests that the developer gain aware negative sampler and group-wise optimization are indeed useful to boost the model's performance. Moreover, in the right figure, we also investigate whether the gain aware negative sampler can indeed distinguish the false negative samples and further identify true negative instance. In the experiment, we randomly select a positive item of each user as the negative to simulate the false negative samples in the training stage. And we track GDNS on H and G during training to analyze how those false negative samples changes. In the right figure, with the density distribution of H, it's confirmed that H of the false negative samples is larger than that of common true negative samples. As the density distribution of G shown, the false negative samples exhibited a larger than the common true negative samples. This is because the false negative samples are usually diff difficult to be optimized and H changes slowly between two iterations. We also explore the effect of different parameters on the per performance. In this experiment, expect for the parameter being tested, or other parameters are set as optimal configuration. In the left figure, we can observe that the performance first increases and then drops with the growth of alpha and our model achieves best performance at alpha equals 2.2 setting. In the right figure, we can observe that the performance with larger group size n is better than that with lower n. It shows that a larger n can share more gradient information between two pairs of positive and negative. But when the group size n is bigger than 3, 32, enlarging the group size is hard to obtain a significant performance improvement, and the consumption of computing resources is also increasing with the increase of group size. So, it's suggested to set the group size not very large in training stage. In summary, 
will propose a gain tuning dynamic negative sampling model GDNS for recommendation, which can select the reliable negative samples for training dynamically. Moreover, in the proposed model, we develop negative samples to efficiently distinguish the false negative samples and a group-wise optimizer to enhance training efficiency. Okay, that's all. Thank you, everyone.